Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at the Wi-Fi module for the Comfort Line range of heat pumps. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you've watched the videos on this channel before, you've probably come across the video with my review on the Comfort Line heat pumps. Now, one of the drawbacks to the heat pumps, and I do have one of these myself, is the fact that it didn't have a Wi-Fi module. I say didn't because it's now available. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the setup, the features of the app, and just see how well it actually performs once it's added to a Comfort Line heat pump. Now, before we jump into that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you need one of these modules, please do get in touch either via the link below or you can hit me up in the comments as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, I'll get that in there again. Okay, so let's go ahead now and take a look at how we actually install this little unit onto the Comfort Line range of heat pumps. Okay, so the Comfort Line Wi Fi module comes in this nice box. So we've got the instruction manual there, and we have this small module which is it's really well packed and it comes in uh, a nice sort of cellophane case. And you can see at the base, there's also the mounting screws. So just taking it out of its packet here, and on the, the front, I've got one button, and on the back, I've got the clip that I'm gonna use to attach it to the actual air source as well. And you can see the model number on the sticker there as well. So it's pretty much well-made unit, and first things first, I thought it was uh, you know, well-packaged as well. And you saw we had that interface connector that we're going to use to connect to the air source. On the back of the comfort line, you've already got two pre-drilled holes, and the right of that cobweb, you can actually see where the interface is going to connect. Now, I've already connected the mounting bracket, and I'm just taking the cover off the uh, co connector there, of the interface, the Wi-Fi module just slots in, really, really simple, and then the uh, rain cover just screws down to hold it in place and to keep that connection nice and dry. The module itself just slips comfortably onto the, uh, the wall mounting plate uh, on the unit. Now you can see the red light is flashing, if that red light isn't flashing, you just press the button, and that's going to turn it into setup mode. So, so far, pretty straightforward. Now it's time for the app. So we need to download the Smarter Pool app, and I've done that on my iPhone. I've opened it up, and it's time to register for an account. So I'm just going to enter my email to accept the terms and conditions, then it's gonna send me uh, an authentication code. So I'm gonna leave the code on show here, because obviously it was unique to me, but you'll get emailed a code that you then need to enter to basically verify your email. Again, pretty straightforward. Now we need to set a password, so I'm just gonna blank that over so you can't see it whilst I uh, type it in, and we're just gonna hit complete, and that's the account set up so it gives me a bit of information about the account and we're just going to click on go to app we need to turn on bluetooth and we need to turn on notifications as well and the next stage is we're going to add a device and the, the app wants to send me push notifications that's fine and i'm just going to check that the bluetooth settings are okay as well so i actually tried to add the the unit automatically by it searching for Bluetooth and this wasn't possible. It, it didn't really work, I couldn't find the, the unit. Um, so I, I ended up having to add the air source manually which was again pretty pretty straightforward process. Uh, I've had a, a lot of these kind of apps before uh, but this one's pretty straightforward. So I've clicked on the add manually and you want to connect to a 2.4 gig Wi-Fi network or if you have a hybrid that does both 2.4 and 5, that's totally fine as well. We're going to need to actually connect 
to the, the Wi-Fi, and it's the Wi-Fi, so you're going to need to be in range here, that you're going to add to the unit. So the Wi-Fi that you're going to use so that your Wi-Fi module can actually connect to your cell phone and you can control your air source heat pump. So it's, it's pretty straightforward, uh, but you do need to be in range of your router for, for this to work. So I'm going to connect now to my uh, Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to uh, blank those out so uh, you don't see the, me entering the passwords. Um, again, it's straightforward. I'm selecting the Wi-Fi that I want to use. I'm entering my Wi-Fi password. And now it's actually adding the device. So it takes a, a, a bit of time here. So it's, it's kind of pairing the device, it's connecting it to the network, it's storing the settings, but uh, within about a minute or so, uh, you'll have the, the device added. And this really was quite a, a straightforward setup. And there it is, it's done. So all I've got to do now is click on the completed option at the top and I'm good to go. Okay, so I thought that I would show you uh, around the app a little as you know, we're kind of reviewing it. Uh, I must admit, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It worked really well and you know, it kind of connected without a hitch. And there's some, some pretty cool features on here as well. So firstly, you can see that I've actually renamed the, um, the air source to, to Andy's hot tub. And when I click on that, I can come in and at the moment in the top left, you can see that it isn't running, but it actually tells you what the, uh, the, the percentage of the, um, you know, of, of the power output actually is. You can also see that there's a fault code, so it will show you all the different fault codes. Uh, E3 is a flow. It, it means it's on and there's no water going through. That's perfectly fine. As soon as water goes through, it's totally okay. Now the temperature I can change from uh, from centigrade to Fahrenheit just by tapping it. It's pretty straightforward, and by using the dial I can up the temperature all the way up to 40 degrees, which is uh, which is really good. Now one thing to note: there are two different models of Wi-Fi module for the Comfort line. One model will only allow you to go to 35 degrees so please do check or purchase it through me and I can make sure that you do get the right module that allows you to go to 40 degrees. Down the bottom we've got the the fan speed and we've also got a scheduling function which is really cool so I can actually choose uh, what time it comes on, it comes off. Um, very, very useful feature to be able to schedule when your um, when your air source is actually going to run. In the setting option here, yeah, we can look at shared devices, so we can share them between you know, different iPhones if you want to share the same, um, you know controls for your air source again it's it it's a pretty cool app i uh, i've seen you know, quite a few of these from from other manufacturers you know like balboa and bat and gecko and they've not been that great uh this comfort line one really impressed it it does what it says on the tin and yeah couldn't really ask for for any more okay so you've seen it's a pretty good setup and i'm really really impressed with the ease of how we can add one of these to the comfort line range of air source heat pumps, but also the feature set and the fact that the app just worked. I've had countless products that, that just don't work or you know, they don't work in the way that they should. This is the first that I've certainly reviewed on this channel that I think is actually pretty good. So I hope you found this video useful. Do subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next